Who's on first? Come learn English with Afghan Advantage. Today we will talk about cardinal and ordinal numbers. What's the difference between a one or a one with a little st by it? We're also going to talk a little bit about baseball, which is perfect. Summer is a great time to play baseball and baseball is very popular in America. And then we're going to talk a little bit about 1950s TV. You'll have to stay to the end to learn why. I know it sounds weird, but it will make sense. I promise. Okay. Cardinal number. That's when you're counting how many. So you see how cardinal and count both start with C. You use cardinal numbers when you count how many. So like how many clouds are on this page? One, two, three, four, four clouds. You use ordinal numbers when you're talking about in what order the items are. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. You hear those ordinal numbers a lot when you're talking about a calendar because you're talking about in what order of the days of the month. So for instance, you would say my birthday is on Saturday the 4th. Or you would say, I have an appointment on Wednesday the 15th. And so that means like the 15th day of the month. Or you could say, my class starts on Monday the 27th. Here's another example. Um, we know the alphabet. The first letter of the alphabet is A. The second letter of the alphabet is B. And you can keep going all the way to 10th, 20th. And we know there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So the letter Z is the 26th letter of the alphabet or the last letter. We need to review a little bit of vocabulary. So the question word who is when we're talking about a person. For instance, who is in this picture? There's a mother and a father and a baby. Okay. When we say where, we're talking about location. So, left, middle, right. So this is what you could say. Who is in the middle? The baby is in the middle. Who is on the right? The father is on the right. Where is the mother? The mother is on the left. So you could keep going back and forth with questions about who and where for this picture. Just a quick review of these color names if you need it. Red, purple, green, brown, gray, pink, orange, black, blue. So now let's practice. How many cars? That means I'm counting the number of cars. That's a cardinal number. So looks like we have nine cars. So I could say, where is the purple car? The purple car is second. Where is the gray car? The gray car is 
fifth. You could practice that with all of the different colors. You could also say, what color is the fourth car? The fourth car is brown. What color is the ninth car? The ninth car is blue. Let's review the words here. Daughter, grandfather, mother, baby, grandmother, father, son. So we're going to talk about the order. So we're using ordinal numbers. So we could say, who is first? This arrow, I'm showing you that we're starting on the left and going to the right. So first is the daughter. The daughter is first. Then we could say the second person in line is the grandfather. In third place is the mother and baby. Even though it's two different people, they are still in the same spot. There's seven people here, but there's really only six spots because the mother and the baby are together. Okay, who is fifth? The father is fifth. Here's some more practice. The first ball is big. The second ball is little. The third ball is little. The fourth ball is big. Okay, and you could keep going. I could also ask you, what size is the sixth ball? The sixth ball is little. What size is the fourth ball? The fourth ball is big. Let's review these animal names. We have a cat, dog, turtle, fish, horse, cow. So how many animals? We're counting how many, so we need a cardinal number. There are six animals. How many of the animals have four legs? Five animals have four legs. Okay, now I can say, talk about the order. Where is the fish? The fish is fourth. We start over with the cat first. The dog is second. Turtle is third. The fish is fourth. Okay, let's review bank, grocery store or supermarket, doctor, park. So you could ask, where did you go? What did you do today? Where did you go? First, I went to the bank. Second, I went to the grocery store. Third, I went to the doctor. Fourth, I went to the park. Okay, here we have a boat, helicopter, bike, truck, airplane, police car, fire engine, bus, minivan, hot air balloon. So now we're going to talk about the order. You could say the boat is first. The helicopter is second. The bike is third. The truck 
is fourth. The airplane is fifth. The police car is sixth. The fire engine is seventh. The bus is eighth. The minivan is ninth. The hot air balloon is tenth. When you go to school, you start in the first grade. Then you go to second grade, third grade, fourth grade. Okay, the grades go in order. They use the ordinal numbers. So if you were in third grade, you might have for your first period class, math. Then your next class, reading. Let's look at the rest of these names. Lunch, recess. Recess is when you go play outside. It's spelled really weird because the C in recess makes a S sound. Then we have music. The C makes a K sound. Now we have science. There's two C's in that word, and they both make the S sound. Science. Art. English. History. Okay. So let's look at this class schedule. If you are in seventh grade, first period is science. Second period is math. Third period is lunch. Fourth period is art. Fifth period is English. So you can keep practicing with the other grades. Let's do ninth grade. Ninth grade, first period is math. Second period is history. Third period is music. Fourth period is lunch. Fifth period is science. Here's another practice for you. Here's the vocabulary words at the bottom. This is a bookshelf. If it's plural, bookshelves. Top and bottom. So down on the bottom shelf or the first shelf, we have books and a garbage dumpster. On the second shelf, there is a doll. On the third shelf, there is a hanger and a truck. On the fourth shelf, there is a flower and an apple. On the fifth shelf, there is a hat, a phone, and a bus. On the sixth shelf, there is a stop sign and a shirt. On the seventh shelf, there is a shopping cart. On the eighth shelf or the top shelf, there is a swing and a slide. Where is the hat? The hat is on the fifth shelf, left side. The hat is on the left side of the fifth shelf. Where is the phone? The phone is on the fifth shelf in the middle. The phone is in the middle on 
the fifth shelf? Where is the hanger? The hanger is on the third shelf on the left. Where is the doll? The doll is on the second shelf. Where is the slide? The slide is on the eighth shelf on the right. Where is the shopping cart? The shopping cart is on the seventh shelf. Can you answer these questions? What is on the first shelf? What is on the fourth shelf? What is on the top shelf? What is on the third shelf? What is on the fifth shelf? Okay, here's some baseball vocabulary. This area where you play baseball is called the baseball field. You hit with a bat. This is a bat. You catch with a mitt or a glove. It goes on your hand and you use it to catch the ball. This is a baseball. This is a hat. You play baseball with a team. In Seattle, we have a professional baseball team, the Seattle Mariners. So you probably see these logos and symbols for the Mariners. Okay, so you need two teams for baseball. One team is at bat. So a person goes up, they take the bat in their hands. They are called the batter. This is the batter and they try to hit the ball. When they hit the ball, they should run around the bases and you have to go in order. So that's why this place here is called first base. So after you hit the ball, you run to first base. Then you run to second base. Then you run to third base. And then you go back to the same starting area. It's not called fourth base, it's called home. This base is called home plate. So you run all the way around the bases and you go back to home. And when you get home, you score a point. The other team is in the field. So one team is at bat, one team is in the field. When your team is in the field, you have the pitcher. They're the ones who throw the ball for the batter to hit. You have a catcher. The catcher stands behind the batter and they catch the ball if the batter does not hit it. Then you have these people, the basemen. They are kind of guarding the bases. They're trying to stop the runner from going around. So first baseman, second baseman, third baseman. And the M-A-N here, think of that as human. It doesn't mean man as in male or boys because baseball can be played by anyone. It is perfectly fine for women and girls to play baseball. And you would still call that the first baseman. Then you have left fielder and right fielder and center fielder. Center is another name for middle. 
So we have left, center, and right. One more person on the fielding team is called the short stop. That's a lot of baseball vocabulary. Okay, here it is, 1950s TV. Why are we talking about that? In the 1950s in America, so that was a long time ago, like 70 years ago, there was a TV comedy duo. Comedy means to be funny. Duo means two people. The name of this comedy duo was Abbott and Costello. Here's a picture of them. In the 1950s, TV did not have color. It was black and white. So Abbott and Costello had a very famous comedy act called Who's On First? And even though it's really old, it's still very popular. I'm going to put the link below so you can listen to the comedy routine. The basic joke in the comedy is one person is saying the names of the players, the name of the first baseman is who, the name of the second baseman is what, the name of the third baseman is I don't know. So one person is saying those are the names, but the other person doesn't understand and he thinks that he's using those words as regular question and answer words. And so they go on and on and they get confused with each other because they're talking about two different things, even though they're using the same words. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for learning with Afghan Advantage.